Hi guys, welcome to another short video from Bite Size Excel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the replace function. Now this is a function that allows you to swap one or more characters within a string of text, where you know the position of the characters that you want to change. And the way the function is put together, it starts with your old text. So that's the cell which contains the characters you want to change. The start number is the number in the cell or the position in the cell where the characters you want to change start. Then there's the number of characters. So that's if you want to change three letters or three numbers within your cell, the number in here would be three. And then the new text is whatever you want to replace those three characters with. So to give you some examples, in this first example, we want to change, say we have these reference numbers and we realize we've put in 2020 and we actually want this to be 2021. And we want to use the replace function to correct it within all our cells. So to do this, we go equals replace, select our old text. Now the start number will be where this zero is because this is what we want to change with one. And it is, if you count along, ref is three, a dash, and then 2020 is four. So it's the eighth character within the cell. So we put in an eight. We want to change one character. And we want to change the zero for a one. Close our brackets. And when we hit enter, you will see that you now have 2021 instead of 2020. And this function is very easy to then just drag and copy down. And you can see it's done for all instances. In the same way in this cell, we've got 2019 instead of 2020, so we want to replace two. So once again, it's replace, select the cell which has the text you want to replace in it. The start number in this instance, because it's the one rather than the nine, is the seventh position. We want to replace two characters this time, and we want to replace those for 21. And once again, you see you've got 21. Now in this final example, say this reference is correct, but it's missed the dash. You can also use your replace function to add that in. So if we go replace, select our text. Now what we want to do is we want to add in a dash and we want to add it in before the fourth character. So if we put our start number in as four, but the number of characters then needs to be zero. And what we want to add, we'll open our brackets, put in a dash, close our brackets, and when we hit enter, you'll see there's now a dash where there wasn't one before. So the replace function could be quite useful if you've missed something like this in a very standard string of text. Now you might not always know the position within a cell that you want to change, or it might be different in a number of cells. So an example is an email address. We don't know how long this first section is. However, in this example, our email should all be at one, two, three. But say for example, it's been typed in wrong in a number of instances and typed in as two, one, three instead of one, two, three. In order to do this, we need to combine the replace function with the find function. And what the find function does is it tells you where this start number is within the cell. So I'm going to start with the find here just to show you what it returns. So find, you want to find the at 213, close our brackets, and you want to find it within this cell. If you want to know a little bit more about the find function, I do have another video on it. Just give a quick search on my channel. And if we hit enter, you'll see that the at 213 starts in the seventh position in this cell. And if we were to drag this down to the other two, it starts at the sixth in this one and the 11th in this one. So combining that in, so that find function is here at your start number, we type equals replace. This is the cell we want to have a replace in. Now we can either type that form function out again, or we could just copy it from that cell. I'm going to type it in. So find at 213 in this cell, close our brackets. And in this instance, we want to replace the 213 or the at 213 with at 123. So we're going to place four characters 
and we're going to go with at 123. Close our brackets. There we've got all four parameters in now. Hit enter and you'll see that it's done it. And if we copy it down, it's changed it in all instances, despite the at two and three being in a different position in each cell. Now, one thing to note with replace is when you're doing things like dates, it can get a little bit more complicated. So say I've got a number of dates in July here. I actually want these to be March. So if we were to use the replace in the normal manner, we want to replace this. We want to replace it from our fourth cell. And we want to replace three characters and we want to replace them with March. And we'll actually make that. If I hit enter, you'll see that it comes out in a very odd format. And the reason for this is because this is in either in date or custom format. It's converting it into a reference number and then replacing from the fourth character. So what we need to do in this is we need to convert this first section into text. So if we put text in, we want our value to be this cell and our format wants to be the same as the format we see here. So we're going to go day, day, month, 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 year, year. And then we're going to close our brackets. The rest of it stays the same because once it's in this text format, we want to start at the fourth character and we want to change three. So if we hit enter, you'll now see that that's worked and that's come, to, come out correct. One point to note is that this will be in a general format, not in the custom format that the original text was in. If we copy it down, you'll see there's changed it across the other two as well. Now there's lots of clever things you can do with the replace function. You can also nest your replace function if you want to change multiple instances within a cell. In a future video, we're going to take a look at the substitute function, and then we're going to look at how you use replace and substitute in nested formats. So where you want to replace or substitute multiple values within a cell. However, if you've got any questions at all, please do leave me a comment. I hope that you found this brief introduction to the replace function useful. I'd love it if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel, and I do look forward to seeing you on a future video.